Well, leaders of the U.S. and North Korea just hours away from making history. They'll meet face to face for the first time at a summit in Singapore. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, also on the ground in Singapore, says President Trump is ready. Kim Jong un also appearing relaxed and confident, taking a surprise tour of the city early today with Singapore's foreign minister. At the top of the agenda, whether North Korea is really willing to denuclearize. The ultimate objective we seek from diplomacy with North Korea has not changed. The complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization of the Korea Peninsula is the only outcome that the United States will accept. Other topics expected on the agenda reportedly include the sanctions the U.S. has imposed on North Korea, officially ending the, North, the Korean War, and normalizing relations between the two nations. And we reached out to some Korean nationals living in the valley and talked with them about the summit. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez spoke to some of them who share their expectations. Valerie. Many South Koreans living in the valley are concerned with what happens back home. They are hopeful this summit is the first step in a new direction. In the valley, Pastor Shin can do this. He can openly practice his Christian faith. Back home, Christians on the north part of Korea are driven behind closed doors. The church is underground. Pastor Shin is from South Korea, a country he describes as two countries divided. Nine years ago, Dr. Hyun Lee also decided to come to the U.S. from that divided country. He's a permanent resident in the U.S. with citizenship in South Korea. They both now live here in the valley. They've kept up with news on any possible reunification. So even though uh, it's a kind of really big event between two uh, real power, uh, there is always a doubt uh, whether there'll be a real uh, tangible outcome. Previous talks between the North and South faltered. Both Pastor Shin and Dr. Lee are hesitant to believe in a quick fix. Since the end of the Korean War, the Koreas have lacked a formal peace treaty. It's led to a tension that ebbs and flows with talks of nuclear weapons. Now, many hope the U.S. can take that tension away by moving North Korea into denuclearization. Dr. Lee is doubtful North Korea will give up its weapons without a powerful incentive. If they could receive something good, then I think there will be some progress and this uh, peace uh, can uh, become really uh, uh, tangible. Hope still remains, at least in part, especially when they think of what it could mean for families in Korea. Uh, there will be a, a more frequent chances of uh, visiting and traveling to my home country, South Korea. Uh, if there is a, a kind of danger uh, in Korean Peninsula, it's uh, not easy to travel. Pastor Shin would like to see a North Korea with religious freedom. Yeah, so it's, uh, uh, I will go to the it's North Korea. It's people that are pre preaching the uh, sermon and uh, bring the Bible. Both would still remain in the U.S., their adopted home. The possibility of further summits to discuss an agreement ending the Korean War through a peace treaty has been suggested by President Trump. Both China and South Korea would need to sign off. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.